What would happen? I mean, how much of your electricity comes from France? So for us in Jersey, all of our electricity uh, comes from France. We've got three undersea cables. We've had a threat before, of course, to cut them off, uh, and we're hearing it again, but it's disproportionate. Is it really right that if vessels can't provide data to us about fishing in our waters, that the French should threaten to cut off the electricity to Jersey's general hospital, to Jersey's schools? It's disproportionate. I mean, it's almost unthinkable, isn't it? But, I mean, looking at some of the language, uh, it, it's not completely unconscionable. Just come back to my original point, if, if you would, Ian. On those 75 vessels that you've asked to quit your waters, if they don't, what do you do? Well, we haven't actually yet asked them to. What we've said is, if you can prove you've fished in our waters, then let's look at the evidence and so we will give you a licence. It's not an unreasonable so assumption said. that they There's will not be able to demonstrate that. And then you'll have to make good on your threat, which presumably requires the assistance of the Royal Navy. No, no, no. Well, we are not making a threat. We are issuing licences under the terms of the trade deal, as you would expect us to do. We're being accused of not doing that. Uh, we, it's being suggested that we're being bureaucratic, but we are. We've got the trade deal. We, of course, in Jersey didn't vote for uh, Brexit, but we believe that we can make this trade deal a success for us. It would be wrong of us to issue licences and to give in to threats if those licences were not compliant with the new trade deal.